We live by a very simple philosophy here at Revco. It's called every customer, every time. We developed it because it's really basic human nature. All of us are customers at least some of the time. And how do we want to be treated when we are the customer? Don't we want people to acknowledge that we exist? I'd like to ask you to think like a customer. When I'm thinking of things to do for Revco, I try to think like a customer. And I'd like you to give it a try. And I'd also like you to think about some people you're about to see in a minute, uh, some customers and some Revco employees and associates and their experiences, and see if you can identify with any of them. Hi, welcome to Revco. You can feel the philosophy. You can, you can walk into Revco and you can see that there is an orientation towards the customer. Every customer, every time is uh, my mother, my father, my sister, my brother. And that's how I treat the customers. Just like family. Courtesy. You know, that smile, just saying hi to them. Just talk to the people, make them feel at home. Just. Talk to them or treat them the way you would like to be treated. Just try to be friendly and be nice to people and help them with whatever they want help with. Don't just point to another aisle and say it's over there somewhere. Go and find it for them. Greeting the customer with a big smile on your face. Saying a simple hi to them. If you know them, call them by name. And then try to help them as much as you can to make sure he comes back. For me, I don't think it's something to learn, you know, just a habit. Every customer, every time. I made a commitment to myself long before we adopted every customer, every time. That it, that was the reason I was there. My main reason, the customer. Everyone who walks in the door needs and deserves our attention. Greet every customer when they come in the store and that way they feel welcome and they'll come back. And you do it every time because then you get to treat all your customers that way and all your customers will come back. I guarantee they'll come back. I guarantee it. Hello, how are you doing? Hadn't seen you in a while. Hi, how are you doing today? Can I help you find anything? Hi, how are you today? Oh, good afternoon. Can I help you with something? Sir, I see you're looking for something. What can I do to help you? Hi, I'm Noreen. Can I help you find something? Oh, the people at Revco are really friendly and helpful. Uh, they make you feel welcome. Uh, you always get a smile, and I like that. We have people that come in two or three times a day, and they've asked me, why do you greet me again this way? I say, because I want to, not because I have to. They're really impressed that I can remember their name, and uh, or a lot of times if I don't know their name and they smoke a particular brand of cigarette, I can, uh, the next time they come in, I remember that, and I have it ready for them, and, that really impresses them. I think the most important thing is to be, be friendly to them, be a friend for life, and they'll always come back. I try to remember names. When you greet a customer by name, it makes them feel welcome. It's a warm feeling that they have. Uh, you greet them, you say hello. They like that. They really do. You could say a lot of things so long as you're smiling. They're always very friendly, helpful. They'll joke with you if you feel like joking. And they always have a nice smile on their face. I think it's important to make eye contact because it, it makes the customer believe that you're talking to them. You're not just doing a routine 
When, when you look them in the eye, it makes them feel like they're important, like you're talking to them and not just going about your business. This way, when you look at people, you look them right in the eye, and they figure they have a lot of trust in you. Eye contact finalizes the conversation, okay? It, it, it gives 100% attention. It, it allows you to focus in on the individual. Find that if you don't know your job, you're not as likely to have the eye contact. If you do, it makes the customer more at ease. They know that you know what you're doing and you're there to help them. You know, you care. Well, I usually do my shopping on my lunch hour or after work when I don't have a lot of time and they help me find exactly what I want in a, in a hurry. So I'm in and out of the store. On the first attempt, you might ask them, do you need any help? And they'll say no. But if you ask them again, or as you're walking away, they say, well, yes, I do need help. So everybody needs help. They're just too afraid to say. Normally in, at a Revco, they'll come up to you. So it's happened to me a lot where they'll come and help me before I have to ask for help, which is just a nice feeling too. If they're just browsing, then you wait until they come to you and ask for help. But if they're in one place for a long time, that it's obvious they need help. Say, for instance, an older person. It's obvious they need help, so you just go up to them and assist them. We have a lot of older customers, and you have to give them special service. They come in, and they need help finding a lot of items on the shelf. You need to go around and help them. A lot of them are in walkers, use canes, and you have to go around and do their shopping for them, and it re they really appreciate it. And if a customer asks you for a product, I never point them in the right direction. I walk them. And I, if I can, I'll hand them the product. A young lady came in. I and saw her in the I school supplies. Her hands were full. She could hardly buy anything else. All I did was got one of our little carriages, brought it to her, and I says, ma'am, isn't it easier to put them in the carriage? And it worked. I have advantage over them because I know where everything is, basically, and they don't. And I can save them time by assisting them right away and get them in and out of the store. Oh, give them a cart give them a car and offer to carry the baby for them. I love doing that. <laughs> I try to go up to them and ask them, was there anything that they were looking for and they did not know where it was? Sometimes they'll say yes. I'll say, come back with me. Let me show it to you where it's at. And this way, they won't be leaving without anything. You try, you try your best. Be there for them, be as helpful as you can be to them if they can't find something let them know that maybe you can pick it up from another store or we do have wholesalers that we can get products from okay we can get that for you sir and it'll be about a day very fine i'll be back tomorrow thank you, thank you. anything that we can do to keep their business we will do for them I you had trouble finding what you wanted today can i help you uh i was looking for neutrogena shampoo when you were out of it we do issue rain checks oh like do you to the front desk sure maybe i'd be happy to oh good thank you My philosophy is a satisfied customer is a repeat customer. Makes me feel real good. Makes me feel proud. You can kill a person with kindness. I mean, as far as, you know, if you had a crabby customer and you keep your cool and you treat them the way you treat everyone else. I mean, when you leave out the store, you will have this thought in the back of their head. Boy, I couldn't get to that guy, you know. He really was nice, you know. You know, I feel good about that. If you make a grumpy customer happy when they leave the store, that makes you feel good because you've done something to make them smile. I think it makes them feel good. It's, they're not just um, on the assembly line of people going through the store. They're, um, they feel like family. They feel like they're, you made their day. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Thank you. Obviously, every customer, every time, is working here because every Revco sales associate is doing it. Try to make your store a 100% store where every customer is greeted every time. You know, I was talking to Mike, who you saw a little bit earlier uh, in this, and he said, you'd be surprised what a smile will do. I'm not surprised, it's human nature. Let's give it a try. Good luck, everyone, and thank you. Thank you for shopping Revco.